Coco, aren't you excited to meet your new cousin? No, not really. All I know is that I'll always be Uncle Zion's baby. You will be, but he does have his own baby now. Yeah, I know, but she's his second favorite. Coco, that is not true. You are both his favorites. That's your response whenever I say I'm somebody's favorite. It's okay to just be honest and say that I'm your favorite too. Girl, hush. Now, when he comes down here, I need you to be excited about meeting the baby. Mm. We traveled all the way down here to visit them, so act like it. I mean, I'll try, but I'm not the best actress. Coco! Uh, I hope y'all was able to get comfortable. Oh, look at my niece, Pooh. She is so beautiful. I can't believe how much she looks like mom. I know, right? She looks like mom. Really, say hi to your cousin Yanti. Coco, did you say hi to Rayla? Yeah, I waved. Hey, kid. <laughs> she, she's just shy. <laughs> Aren't you, Coco? Oh, yes. I am the shyest person in the world. Look at me. So shy. Uh, DC Pool, you still a comedian. Comedian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even when I'm not trying. <laughs> right, I'm going to let you and your cousin get acquainted. I'm going to go out and have a little fun. Oh, no problem at all. Go out and have some fun. Rayla is in good hands. I'm already knowing. Oh, face oh wait, uh, Unc, are you gonna take your baby with you? <laughs> no, Coco, that is the point of him going out to take a break. All right, y'all, see y'all later. I love you, Rayla. So, how did my faking go? Horrible, but anywho, now that Rayla is here with us somewhere, um, you all can spend some time together. Yay. Uh, girl, Coco, be kind. Hey, mama, where you going? I'll be upstairs. Find your cousin and spend some time with her. Well, could could I go upstairs with you and then she could stay down here? Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> well, you know, I guess you are kind of cute, but just know that I'm Uncle Zion's favorite. Do you know how to play cards? I guess I'll take that as a no. What a baby's good for. like this as a child oh was i a anyway that's besides the point listen kid i just need a little peace and quiet and i know the perfect place to put you so i can get it all right you shh and be quiet i know all that yak may have to have you tired now you stay out here and if you need anything just let me know okay but you don't come back in until your daddy comes and get you all right bye bye Wow, it's pretty quiet down here. I thought Randall would be running around like crazy. Sis, why is my child outside? Huh, Unc? Outside? What? Um, uh, I can explain. Uh, she was getting on my nerves. Oh. She what? You get on my nerves every day. Have I put you out? No, but you thought about it. I heard you talking about it on the phone with Auntie Lana. Why are you listening to my... You know what? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. But the problem at hand is you putting a baby outside. She was fine. I was sitting right here watching her through the window. I would have screamed if she needed help. Zion, I am so sorry. I went upstairs for a little bit, but I never thought she would do that. Coco, why? I'm sorry. She, she was just driving me crazy. And plus, Uncle Zion doesn't love me anymore. What? That's not true. Coco, you always be my Coco Bean. You promise? Uncle promise. Well, it looked like they got closer since she's been outside. Uh, see? No, you're grounded for two months. No, but, but she liked it. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With pretty big tails and a smile that makes us giggle. What can we say? That's just Coco being Coco. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With Listen, kid. I just need a little piece of corn. I know it's crazy, right? 
Raylan, say hi to your auntie, your cousin. <laughs> but it's her. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. We're pretty in class. Today, we're going to be talking about how houses are built. Does anyone know? Yes, uh, Coco. Uh, I believe I know, ma'am. They usually use masonry, concrete, or wood. The construction workers, they go out there and they do it by hand. Every time I see them, though, I usually pray for them that they don't fall off the ladder. Because that would be bad. Oh, yes, that's correct. And that would definitely be bad. Yep. Uh, we got our house built from the ground up. Oh, really? How long was the process? Uh, I can't really remember how long, but I know it was a real long time because we stayed in the apartment while they were completing it. But we live in there now. Really? That is awesome. I'm so glad you got to experience that. How many floors is it? It's three, but Mama keeps somebody down in the basement and we're not allowed to go down there. Someone in the basement? Is it family? Nope. I never saw him before. I hear him through the ground, though. And sometimes I hear women and children, too. Oh, my. Well, do they talk to you? Oh, no. Mama says that we are absolutely forbidden from seeing the people in the basement. She's always whispering and telling us to walk carefully, too. Oh, okay. Oh, Coco, please stay in class for a moment. The rest of you all, have a great day. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the people in the basement. Are they nice? Uh, they sound nice a lot of times, but a lot of other times they sound like they may be angry. Oh, do they ever come out? Uh, uh, I'm really not sure, ma'am. Mama just tells us not to go down there. And the few times that I acted like I was going down there and I was just joking, she got really, really angry and told me that I better not. Well, do you ever feel unsafe? Me? Unsafe? No, not really. I think it's kind of cool that people I never saw before live in my basement. You know, sometimes I pretend that they're my friends. Well, that's a positive way to look at it. Yeah. Well, Teach, I love to sit and talk, but Mama's waiting outside for me. She said today after school that we were going to go get me a surprise, and I don't want to miss it. Oh, right, right, right. I, I'm so sorry. Look, well, you go and you have some fun today, and I can't wait to hear about the surprise tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Miss Sweetie. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Look at you. I'm happy you like your surprise. <laughs> of course I do. It's all squishy, and it smells good, too. See? Smell it. Oh, it does. Hello, sir. How can I help you? It's been brought to my attention that you're hiding people in your basement. What? Hiding people? Yes, ma'am. What amount of elementary alerted us that there may be someone being held against their will in your basement? Well, I can assure you no one is being held against their will in my basement. And why would my daughter's school even say... Wait a minute. Coco, why does this police officer think someone is being held against their will in my basement? Uh, well, the only person that I told people live in the basement was Miss Sweetie uh, and the whole class. Well, did you leave out the part that I rented out as an Airbnb? Uh, yes, possibly, because I didn't know that's what you did. Sir, I am so sorry for this inconvenience. Um, what, here is my business license that shows I can legally operate in the basement. Oh, okay, ma'am. We're sorry for disturbing you, but... You may want to have a talk with her so she understands what's going on. Oh, I most definitely will. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Oops, did I do that? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. We're pretty...